Look at the amount. <laughs> Damn. Okay, this is step one. We are going to remove this winding a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. We are just exposing more of the core wire. Okay, next step is to take a plier, hold the string, take another plier, insert it in this and just twist a tiny bit. If we twist too much, we are going to snap the core wire because it really doesn't like this. So as little as we can. So we're opening up the loop because we want to remove this thing. This is very hard because I've snapped 10 strings so far and every string I snap, I need to buy another package. It's like $4 per string I lose, or five. Yes. Now, push it down a bit to make it more circular, the loop. Next step is to put this winding back into the loop so we don't get the problem we had before. So we are just going to... Okay. Now we have locked in the winding into the loop, take a plier and cut it off. And now this string is basically prepped to be put on the piano. Okay, so step one is to insert the string into this hole here, put it under the damper, put it on the hitch pin back here. And now we are stealing a piano a restringing technique. We are going to measure with our fingers from the tuning pin we're going to measure three fingers. On a piano, you usually do four, but these strings are stretching more, so we have to account for that. And then we cut the string. This is usually good. Now we're going to see, we're going to watch the pin and kind of estimate by eye what is the proper height. This looks good. Maybe a half turn up put the string in and we're using this hand to kind of control the height of the winding. That's good. Now when the string sits stuck here, we are going to go back to the hitch pin because we are going to twist the wire and we are twisting it in the direction of the winding. Since we have a problem with buzzing, most likely, you know when you twist the towel like this and it kind of tightens up? That's the principle we're going to use for the core wire of the bass string. So we are twisting in the direction of the winding up here, one turn and put it back on the pin. And now start twisting. And now the string is pretty much there. Uh, we are first going to just feel the tension so we can be effective. And now we can start taking up the tuner. I use an app called Piano Meter just because I kind of like the UI and it's, it's a decent app. We're going to mute the other string that we put on so it doesn't interfere. And now just play. Look at the keyboard, we want the A. Actually pretty close already. And let's tune it a bit above the final note because it is going to stretch and go down in pitch. And that's it, done with one string, 200 more to go. Epic.